Okay, we're going to install our S4. Double click the icon and select one. Select next. Next again. This is telling you where it's going to be installed to. Uh, it's a good idea to keep a note of that because you're going to need it later when some drivers are needed. So next. Install. That gives you want to install some drivers. Select yes. Always select continue anyway at these prompts. If you want to put some files in history, just put yes. And you can go into the registry. Okay. And that's fully installed. So that's going to have one children to install some drivers. Press yes. I'm already installed on my machine, so I'm just going to repair but you select full install. So the next That's it, they're installed now, so select finish. Icon on your desktop for an S drill there, but we need to connect box first. We'll connect box up now. Connecting, connecting. Windows has found your card inside your box. Problem installing hardware, you'll get this on some systems because the car drivers will conflict. So let's just try and run an S Pro. Oh, I'm going to still finish it. There's some drivers for the box, so let's install those. In a specific location. Like I said, it was that path program file for NS Pro. There's a folder in there called drivers. So I'll just select next. There's some more drivers now, so we don't want to connect to the internet. We're going to go from a specific location. Again, the same path. Continue anyway. Finish. Don't want to connect to the internet. Again, from a specific location. Same path again. Continue anyway. Finish. Okay. I'm just going to try and launch on S Pro. But I don't think it's going to work because we've got a few drivers that it's conflicting with. Now, this is a common error that a lot of people are suffering with with new version of NS Pro. So you can't quickly find the card inside your box. So to fix this, press OK. Go to your start button. Go to my computer, right click it and select properties. Select the hardware tab and then device manager. Now device manager contains everything connected to your PC. And as you can see it is a smart card. What we're going to do, we're going to update the driver on it. So right click that, select update driver. We don't want to connect to the internet. We're going to install from a specific location. Now this time, we're not going to search, we're going to tell it which drivers we want to use. So select this radio button and press next. Press hot disk. Press browse. 
Yeah, Mark's system's already gone through, but just to show you where the drivers are, it's C, Program Files, NS Pro, and then NS Pro Driver, and then just press Open. Now press OK, and press Next. It's now installing drivers for your card reader. So that will enable it to find the card, and it's going to want drivers again for the card. Press Cancel at this point. What you'll see now in Device Manager is an eGate Virtual Reader. Now the drivers look installed OK, but we have, Windows has installed its own drivers, and they're not going to work the NS Pro. So again, right click, Update Driver. We don't want to connect to the net. We're going to install from a specific location. We don't want to search, we're going to choose a driver, like, just like we did a minute ago. Press next. Press half disk. Press browse. Again, going to the NS Pro driver folder, but to be sure, we will see program files. NS Pro. NS Pro driver and press open. Press OK. Press next. And that's installing correct drivers for your car. And press finish. It's going to tell you to reboot your PC now. So what you do is basically reboot your PC. Once it's rebooted, you can launch NS Pro and it should start fine for you. If it doesn't, just once it's rebooted, just update the drivers again on these two. And it shouldn't ask you to reboot again and then launch an S-Core or work fine.